The new Ferrari SF25 had a smooth debut on the friendly track surface of the Fiorano circuit last weekend, in front of a large audience with Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton sharing the 200 kilometers of the filming day available for all teams. This was an opportunity for the Marinello engineers and drivers to get their first experience with the new Formula One car, which received positive initial feedback regarding procedures and early correlations with data studied during the winter. Charles Leclerc focused more on the latter aspect in the morning, while Lewis Hamilton, in the afternoon, focused on learning and ergonomics to be ready for the 2025 Formula One season. The new single-seater has now been sent to Bahrain, where the real performance research begins during the crucial preseason testing session, which is scheduled to take place from February 26 to 28 at the 5.412 km Bahrain International Circuit in Sakir. As always during the official preseason tests, the main goal is to find the best setup compromise. It was mandatory to switch to the pull rod front suspension for aerodynamic purposes. One of the most anticipated changes to the SF25, which has most significantly altered the foundation of the Ferrari project, was undoubtedly the switch to the pull rod front suspension. This choice aligns with the trend since the introduction of Venturi floor cars in 2022, but for Ferrari, it comes in the final year of the regulatory cycle. The new technical director, Loic Serra, explained that this decision was mainly driven by aerodynamic reasons that could provide greater development margins. Ferrari's engineers and technicians have sought a different flow management at the front to increase clean airflow towards the floor, with the pull rod helping to create an inwash flow towards the side pods, unlike the push rod configuration. The suspension has been completely changed not only in the layout, but also in the geometry of the arms, which, in the upper triangle, show a lower anti-dive effect. It appears less extreme but brings advantages, often improving the car's braking stability, an aspect that both Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton are particularly sensitive to. The upper triangle design features a more rearward attachment to the chassis which is completely redesigned for the SF25 and an apparently reduced anti-dive. The attachment point to the wheel corner has been raised and the brake duct passes through it. These choices were also influenced by a slight forward shift of the front axle and a lengthened wheelbase. All these modifications aim to create a cleaner airflow towards the floor. The design of the front wing shares a strong family resemblance with the specification introduced in the 2024 Formula One Singapore Grand Prix, later revised in terms of material flexibility at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin. The nose has been slightly revised at the point where it attaches to the second element of the wing, but the philosophy from last year remains unchanged. The car is designed to better suit Charles Leclerc's driving style as the SF25 more front-oriented like the F175 single-seater. The SF25 differs from the previous car more than what a simple visual approach might suggest. The front suspension is the most visible change, but there are equally important modifications that are less noticeable. Loic Serra described the first Ferrari under his technical direction this way. The attachment of the front suspension and triangle to the chassis has changed because, on the Ferrari SF25, engineers led by head of aerodynamics Diego Tondi pushed to lengthen the car's wheelbase, moving the front wheels further from the side pod inlets. The air intakes now have a double inlet with a P-shaped connection, and the undercut area has been redesigned. These modifications aim to reduce harmful turbulence in the crucial zone at the start of the floor and at the Venturi inlets. At the same time, the cockpit has been slightly moved rearward, resulting in a slight redistribution of weight along the car, at the limits of the regulations that allow little room for creativity. The winter work saw the engineers at Marinello focused on creating a car with a more powerful front end, a feature suited to Charles Leclerc's driving style. At the Fiorano circuit, the car was seen to have a precise front end, with a somewhat lightened rear. The radiator openings remain true to the overbite philosophy, but have changed the shape of the upper wing, which now features a McLaren-inspired design, longer with a curl at the outermost part. While the side pod is more tapered at the lower part, Ferrari has also recreated a top excavation in the skirt area, drawing inspiration from the fish tank solution of the F-175, though not as extreme. The side pod excavation begins immediately, with an edge that gradually increases, creating a hollow where air will be channeled toward the rear. The engine cover now has a cleaner design, with a tray extending from the sides of the cockpit to the rear, 
where there remains an opening, also used by McLaren on the MCL39, that creates a small blowout at the rear with a hint of bazooka. The famous fin on the engine cover has almost disappeared, and small openings have appeared, echoing a solution first implemented by Alpine. As anticipated, the triangular airbox is confirmed, along with a completely clean upper section of the engine cover, where the Cobra remains, along with a horizontal support anchoring it to the chassis. On the other hand, the floor of the Ferrari SF25 builds on the experimental base from late 2024, with evolved structure and venturi channels. Although revised, the floor largely retains the modifications seen at Ferrari with the experimental specification brought to the Las Vegas Grand Prix last year, which provided more positive data than expected. The SF25's floor underwent a more significant modification in the Venturi Channel area, with a new structure and a different center of pressure. The floor's inlets are the most updated part, with the external fin showing a new stepped design at the top, and a different cover enveloping the anti-intrusion cone. The rear pull rod suspension has been further updated. The entire rear wing for medium load is new. Ferrari remains the only manufacturer with a rear pull rod suspension, although significantly updated compared to the 2024 version. In Marinello, the rear pull rod suspension with the spring damper group positioned lower has continued to be trusted. Unlike the front suspension, this choice is based on continuity, as the Italian side believes there is no clear advantage to switching to a pushrod setup. Moving the masses upward with a pushrod configuration could offer more freedom in occupying the volume with the diffuser design. However, the rear mechanics have been a strong technical point for the Marinello team in recent years, with cars consistently offering good traction and excellent performance on stop-and-go circuits. At the Fiorano racetrack, the new rear wing on the Ferrari SF25 was seen, the same as the renders shown on the evening of February 18th, and different from last season's wing. It is a medium-high load specification, with a pronounced V in the main plane, inspired by Alpine's philosophy first and McLaren's later, though a first hint of this concept was already seen on the F175. Ferrari's changes at the rear of the car are more important than they appear at first glance, with the focus more on evolution rather than revolution in that area of the SF25. It is said that Ferrari remain convinced that a pushrod rear suspension does not provide a big enough advantage to justify changing the concept, persuading the team to stick with a pullrod layout for the new season. The Marinello team's view was reportedly reinforced in 2024 as Ferrari developed a fuller understanding of the impact of the pushrod suspension on the car's performance. Ferrari has been at the center of a busy F1 winter break, partly due to the arrival of seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton. The Marinello-based team has been hard at work on its car for the 2025 Formula One season, the SF25. It is one which a great deal is expected from, starting next week in Bahrain at preseason testing.